One day about 10 years ago, singer-songwriter Chris Stapleton stood in a parking lot outside a Nashville restaurant with label executive Brian Wright. The two longtime friends had just met for lunch after Wright sat through a long morning of meetings where every single song that was pitched to him sounded exactly the same, many extolling the virtues of cold beers and dirt roads. Wright was ready for his label to sign a singer with a different vision, and he had a suspicion that Stapleton, whose powerful vocals could deliver country, bluegrass, rock, soul or a mix of them all, could be the answer. The only problem that was Stapleton seemed perfectly content to write hits for other artists, Josh Turner's Your Man, Darius Rucker's Comeback Song, Trey Sadkins's Swing, and didn't have much interest in a record deal. He didn't want that life, I don't believe, said Wright, Executive Vic. He didn't like the spotlight, he liked being behind the scenes. Flash forward a decade, and Stapleton, 44, will be in one of the brightest spotlights that exists in the world, singing the national anthem at the Super Bowl on Sunday. It's safe to say that standing in the parking lot that day, when Wright offered Stapleton a record deal that he ultimately accepted, neither would have predicted the career trajectory for the mild-mannered Kentucky native. When Stapleton, who was unavailable to comment for this story, started making his debut record Traveler after he signed to Universal's Mercury Records in 2013. He was relatively unknown outside of country music, even though he was once part of the Grammy-nominated bluegrass band The Steel Drivers. But in Nashville, he had a reputation as one of those hidden gem musicians. Plus, he and his wife Morgan, a singer-songwriter who sings background vocals for Stapleton and other artists, were a beloved couple around Music City. I think everyone knew he was one of the best songwriters in town, and everyone knew he was one of the best singers in town, said Dave Cobb, th. Cobb recalled recording Traveler was just pure joy, and they finished the majority of it in about a week. He was given freedom to do whatever he wanted to do, Cobb said. There was no agenda, it was him being completely honest in record making. He picked the songs he connected to and that he wrote, and he went in there and delivered it with complete purity, he was never angling for a Grammy or CMA, he was just trying to make the best record he could possibly make. Incidentally, the Country Music Association Awards in November 2015 changed his life, Stapleton won Best New Artist and Best Male Vocalist, as well as Album of the Year for Traveler.